In today's video, I want to talk about trading your equity curve. Trading your equity curve, which is how your account grows, what your money looks like, you know, how hopefully it should be going from, from zero or you start an account and it should just steadily grow as time goes on and as trades go on. So, why do you want to trade your equity curve? Well, the number one reason why I trade my equity curve is it it reduces losses. So you reduce, you, you manage to take out losses out of your trades, then you're gonna make more money. Now, not only does it reduce losses, other main benefits are, it lets you know, it's a good indication of when your system is underperforming. It, all systems, uh, they don't work all the time. They don't work great all the time. They go through periods of underperformance or, or drawdown. And this trading the equity curve is a great way to work out, or it's a good indication, visual indication, that at the moment your system is going through a bit of a drawdown, um, and you know you might want to take a bit of action on that. We'll talk about that later. Another main reason is it will tell you if a system is broken, stop working. A lot of systems will, they might work for a couple of years really well. And then the edge just starts to go. They start to deteriorate and they start to ultimately stop working. Uh, the systems I trade are so basic, so robust, that they have really have stood the test of time. And generally, I haven't seen the systems, the systems break. But I know there are a lot of traders out there who really, uh, really hone, really, um, <coughs> really modify their systems and they can, they tend to perform really great, but they do then, they break or they start to just deteriorate. And if you're trading your equity curve, you know when that started to deteriorate and break. And if you're, if you're then trading a system without an edge, your equity curve is going to go down. You're going to start losing money. So you need to know that. You want to know that. Um, and if your system's broken or... You might have a really good system, but it's going through a period of long drawdown, depending on depending on your time period or you know your time frame that you're trading. If it could go through a period of two or three months where it's underperforming, not doing that great, then it's a good indication to say, right, I'm going to stop trading this system with my real money at the moment. I think I can be making better returns on my money elsewhere. So it lets you know that you know, now is a time to put money elsewhere in a system that is performing particularly well. So that's what trading your equity curve is all about. It's, it's something that's really untalked about. I, I, heard, I heard about it and I was taught by, I um, wasn't actually directly taught, but I heard about it from Larry Williams. He's someone I look up to in the trading world. I think he's a great trader. I've been trading over 50 years. Now he talks about trading your equity curve. And there's very, very few other people or books that I've read that ever talk about this, but I think it's a really important thing and it's gonna put you in front of other traders. It's gonna make you put, make bigger returns on your, on your trading account. So what I'm gonna do is show you on the screen exactly what an equity curve looks like and then I'm going to show you how we go about trading it. So it's actually, it's a system that I've, um, I trade. It's a system that I've back tested. So I've got loads of results. I've got over 400 trades, uh, the results that build up this curve. And then we can show you, I'm going to attempt to recreate, recreate the chart pattern on the board. And I'll point out the times where we want to be trading or not trading and how that can you know really benefit your trading account so this is a, a real plot of an equity curve of a system that i developed that i trade uh, for the s&p 500 now the blue line is the equity curve so what an equity curve is is literally it's how your account is looking after every trade so Every trade is logged and then 
is either added up or subtracted if it's a loss from your account. And then, so it's, it's your, your account growth after every single trade. So that's why you can see the lines are, are fairly sort of jagged because there's lots of trades. There. There's over 400 trades make up that equity curve. Now the red line is the simple moving average on the equity curve. Now you can plot this on your results. Um, I can show you how to do that in, in Excel. And it's literally, it's just an average, like a moving average on a price chart of a, a stock or Forex pair. It's just a moving average of your results over a period of time. And this happens to be, I, I tend to look at a 30 period moving average. So over the last 30 trades. And we can see that it's actually quite a nice equity curve and a nicely uh, inclining moving average as well. So you know that means over time, over the years that these trades are taken from, the equity curve is climbing with um, probably two or three little blips in the uh, in the, in the equity curve that. We're going to be talking about back on back on the whiteboard, but that's the real chart I wanted to show you first before I recreate part of it on the whiteboard and then really really zone in and, and have a look at a couple of key areas. So what you just saw on the screen was the results of trades from a real system that I trade or I actually developed that one. So that's a system trades the S and P five hundred and just over 400 trades and it's over about five years. So the things to note are, so now we know what the equity curve is, it's basically it's our account, um, it's, it's how it's growing. So the equity curve is the blue line as it was on, on the uh, screen and the red line is the moving average. There's a 30 period moving average. Now, the chart isn't exactly like it was on the screen, but I'm not that, not that good with the pens, but I just want to talk about a couple of main areas we see there that this, um, uh, this method can really help us out. So the first, first period is obviously here, is when our equity curve drops below the moving average of our equity curve. There's a little a little period there and it's quite a significant period here. Now in this period our account uh, it could have it could have gone up to um, let's say this is looking at the chart down there let's say this at this point here that could be ATR in profit. Now it starts to decrease, it might decrease down there to about 75R in profit. Now we've taken a 5R drawdown through there and the minute it crosses through the moving average we want to say we're going to stop trading this system now because it's underperforming or it could actually be broken and it might not continue to work. So we've stopped trading here and it continues to go down, continue to see losses Losses that we probably don't want to be trading. This could be, you know, maybe a 10R, 15R drawdown, which we don't really want to be trading. So here, this is where we stop trading. And but what we do is we what's called paper trade, or so we continue looking for trading signals at this period here. We continue to note them in our records so we can continue to plot our equity curve and this, this moving average of the equity curve. So then we paper trade and then it gets to about here, we stop taking losses, we start making money and at this point here the, the equity curve penetrates, goes above the moving average and that's our signal to say let's get back in, let's start trading this system again and what it's done, it's this period of time it's it said, right, stop trading it. What we could have done, we could have said at this period here, let's stop trading it, let's put our money into something else that is 
that's doing this, that's going up. That, you know, if, if we're plotting equity curves for multiple strategies, m multiple different systems or strategies, then we can be in the ones that are performing really well at all times. So that's, and obviously this is time or number of trades from here to here, where we start trading it again, that could have, been, could have been three months. So it could have been three months, it could have been six months, depending, totally depending on your time frame. It could have been three weeks if you were trading a really small, um, a really low time frame. So that's took us out of that market that's not performing very well in, for those three months or however long for your system. Now, you might say, well, you know, you could have just traded through it and you could have done. Knowing your system gives you the ability to trade through drawdowns of a system like that, which is very, very important. But what would have happened if, um, let's modify this slightly. What could have happened is... Or that would actually be be gone itself. What could have happened is we start to see this drawdown. It penetrates the moving average of the equity curve, but it actually keeps going down. And then our moving average would tail off like that. And again, this could be, you know, this could be, in terms of time, from here to here, that might be a year. And we're trading a system that is, could be broken for a whole year, thinking that it was just a normal healthy drawdown, and it wasn't. So we were just losing money. So I hope you can see that that's a really, really critical, really powerful method to ultimately make more money or you're going to make more money by taking less losses and you're not going to be trading a broken system. So another important takeaway from, from this is this is an equity curve for one system. Personally, I trade multiple systems. Um, it's for diversification. Let's say, for example, I've got a trend following system. I might have a mean reverting system. And, but I treat each one of those systems completely differently. So this is an equity curve for, say, the trend following system. So if the trend following system stops working, we stop trading it. But we continue trading our other systems because they might be doing really well. This is why you can actually paper trade or keep note of trades on every on, on many different systems and then just apply your money, your real money, to the systems that happen to be doing the best at, the, at that time. So really powerful, works really well. Not only does it work on systems or you know for, for rule-based system traders like, like myself, it also works for discretionary traders. Um, traders who don't have an exact rigid system but they uh, they more have a feel for markets so what might happen is you could you could plot your plot your equity on that as well and it'd be an indication that maybe your psychology or your own methods are just you know you're not you're not performing very well as a trader and maybe take some time off reevaluate things so that's about it, trading your equity curve, really powerful thing. Not many people talk about it, not many people teach it. I think you're missing out in a big way if you don't take notice of it. So I hope that's been of some help. If you've got any questions, email me, at transparent Jared at thetransparenttrader.com. Head over there, there's all my best stuff. Have a look at my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like it. If you didn't like it, thumbs down, and I'll see you on the next video.